Welcome to Monica's Sports Corner. Saturday, men's soccer lost to Davidson in overtime. The Billikens finished regulation play scoreless, but Davidson hit a shot far post for the golden goal to end overtime in the 96th minute. The Billikens are now 2-4 and four in Atlantic 10 play. The men continue on the road against Fordham Saturday, October 28th. Women's swimming and diving defeated McKendry and Maryville this weekend, while the men split, winning against Maryville 233 to 25 and falling to McKendry 166 to 122. On the women's side, Emily Kishish captured first place in the 100 and 200 breaststroke, along with Kaylee Schwab, who won the 1 meter and 3 meter diving competitions. The Billikens compete in an Atlantic 10 dual meet hosted in Geneva, Ohio, October 28th and 29th. Saturday, field hockey lost 2-1 against Davidson. The Billikens scored first in the 15th minute off a corner hit by freshman Julia Bacher, while junior Erica Bondock tipped it in. Davidson was able to score before halftime and then again in the second half. The senior game and the last game of the season is on Friday, October 27th against VCU. Game time is set for 3 p.m. Sunday, women's soccer fell to Fordham 2-0 even though they outshot Fordham 11-8. The Billikens finished regular season play 7-2-1, putting them at second place. The women are the two seed for the A-10 tournament and will host the seven seed St. Joseph's Hawks Saturday, October 28th in the quarterfinal game. Women's volleyball had a successful weekend at home, hosting George Washington and George Mason while sweeping both in three sets. The Billikens are now 6-2 in Atlantic 10 play. Stat leader sophomore transfer CN Gallup is here with me to talk more on the game. Hi, Sien. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Of course. So this weekend, congratulations on both of those wins, like sweeping George Washington and George Mason. That's awesome. Thank you. It was a pretty awesome feeling. <laughs> yeah. You seem to be in all of the plays. What did you have, like 16 digs this week? Uh, I think. I feel like it's kind of hard not to be in a lot of the plays because you're playing six rotations, but... Once you're like playing, you don't really notice that you're in a lot of them, but after you do. <laughs> right, definitely, especially with the stats you're having right now. Um, so first, like, how do you think the team is has been doing um this whole season, like overall? Um, I think we've have faced like a lot of adversity and it's been kind of a roller coaster of a season for us because coming into preseason it wasn't amazing, but like we're a good team and we could tell it was just a difficult preseason for us. And then everything happening with Nenye kind of put a damper on us as well because she was a huge key player in everything that we did. And so I think it's kind of been up and down, but right now we're up, and I hope it stays that way into the weekend. Definitely. So you guys have won six of your past seven games, so that's incredible. Yeah, it's a nice feeling having a, a little winning streak. <laughs> Definitely. So what was your first reaction when you found out that Nenye was hurt? Uh, I think all of us were, were like a little shocked that it was kind of a – bigger issue than it should have been um you could tell that we all of us were kind of jumbled around the court because we didn't know what to do and we had new players playing in different positions and all this stuff going on that we were just really confused and didn't know how to react but I think we've gotten in a groove to like figure out what our jobs are and what we need to get done and I think that our team has done really well on and off the court to figure that out and it sucks not having Nenye, but it also kind of shows that we can go through adversity and like figure things out and show that we're a great team coming together. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome to hear. So you guys play VCU this coming Friday and they're undefeated in Atlantic 10 play. What's your mentality going into that game? I think we're all super, super excited and optimistic about it. And getting up early every day is kind of worth it because it's a team that you really want to be. And like, it's just one of those teams that you see and you just get annoyed because you know that they're winning. So I think we're all pretty hungry for a win and we're super excited. And I know the coaches are really putting together practice plans to make us like figure out their tactics and like what we need to do and how to figure out our side. I, I really hope it comes together because I really want to beat them and I know everyone else does too. Well, I hope you do as well. Um, so you're a transfer student athlete. How has the transition been to becoming a Billiken? Um, I think it's been pretty easy. Everyone on the team has been so nice. They're like a second family. And I think – any question that I've had, they've been able to answer without hesitation or like anything like that. And the academic side has been more challenging, but I think that's what I need because at my old school is kind of just more sports, which I love, but like I also am here for school and I like how the whole team is all about academics as well. And I think they've made it very easy to like 
come together and study or like get our study tables done and really like be accountable for those things. And so I think even the coaches have made it pretty easy too with like Kent putting everything together and our like schedules and everything. Like I think they've done really well in helping me transition. That's really good to hear. So what's your favorite thing about SLU? I think being a community, I think everyone here has their own voice and their own opinions and we're really able to like express those, but in a way that's good for everyone else, I guess. And I think that really shows how people can express their feelings. And I think that's awesome because not a lot of other schools are able or willing to do that. Well, that's good to hear. I'm so glad you enjoy being Villikin. Um, Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Be sure to come out and support women's soccer as they take on St. Joseph's Saturday in the A-10 quarterfinal. I hope to see you there, and you can definitely find me here. Go Bills!